Now, I was listening to your opening words. Uh, you said this that uh, the, administ- the Biden administration had a top priority for protecting Americans, uh, protecting the border. Is this, did you say that? I mean, am I right? He, he is doing a great job of protecting the border. Thank you, Congressman, for that question. Um, we believe strongly that it is an important part of every nation to be able to secure and protect its border. There are a number of things that are going on in this area of counter narcotics that I think is important to note. As I visit, I speak to the women and men on the border. No, no, hey, no, doctor, I don't mean to, I've got a limited amount of time. Is he taking the steps to protect the board, to close the border? Is that what I understand you to mean? Uh, Congressman, thank you again. And, and uh, he, the president is certainly taking steps to make sure that our border remains secured. Part of oh which my, is. OK, uh, doctor. OK, this is two different universes. Uh, if you're saying that the numbers, I assume you agree with the numbers of the illegals coming across. We're going we're going to average five hundred eighty five thousand a month. We're up to what, what is this? Uh, One point six apprehensions. Donald Trump had this uh, with the wall, had a had this solved. We have 50 uh, in during the three prior years. Those on the terror watch list were basically zeal. This past year is 50 on the terror watch list. How can you sit there and say that this administration uh, has a goal of protecting Americans? I'm in the construction business. We had a leak uh, on one of our, our projects. You stop the leak in the pipe. We had a dam uh, that had a leak in the dam for the water. You stop the leak. Give, I mean, really, this is a mischaracterization at best for you to say this administration, uh, either the numbers are completely false. We're getting an unprecedented number of people coming across. We, are, we already got three to five million illegals in this country. So exp- I guess... We don't want words and we don't want hearings. We want action. All he has to do is, is build a wall and have a designated point of entry. The, how many times have, has the vice president been to the, to the border that you know of? She was supposed to be the big czar heading this up. How many times has she actually been to the border to see what's going on? Congressman, I will leave that uh, to the vice president to answer. I, what I can tell you is I have Zero. Been- Zero. She's giggling. She's laughing about it. How many times have you and your staff been to the border? Yes, Congressman. Thank you for that question again. I, the, on my first week in office, I actually went to our southwest border and I went to Mexico. Um, recently, last month, I went to the San Isidro border in San Diego. The first one was in El Paso. I was able to spend a considerable amount of time. And uh, I, I will say that, um, as the ranking member mentioned, since last year, beginning, We've apprehended 600,000 pounds of illicit drugs, including 11,000 pounds of fentanyl. And I'll tell you why that's important. No, that's because it's coming across unfettered, doctor. I mean, they're unfettered. I mean, they're coming across. Uh, that's why the cartels are winning. They're I'm making a uh, billion dollars a month. And they're unfettered coming into this country. I'm tired. The blood is on the hands of this administration for what he's doing. Our police officers are sick and tired of the, the danger they face on the streets today in South Carolina because of his inaction. And no, I, I, I tell you, this is uh, one of the tragedies that's going to be hard to walk back when this administration will not take ownership. And to, to start touting things he's done, he's opened up this country. Our sovereignty is at stake and he's, we're losing it. Uh, and and I, it, it astounds me that you can I know you, you're part of the administration, but it astounds me you're making these statements because it's just not true with the open borders that he is uh, allowing to happen and endanger everybody in America. Also, if I can complete my response, um, what I was saying is that that amount of drugs is not in our communities killing Americans right now. The proceeds up to $16 billion that's been denying and we're denying those to the transnational criminal organizations that are often used for crime, for corruption, and other events in the host countries. 
that often destabilize fragile democracy and become the cause for migration in the first place. So I'm proud of the work that our men and women are doing at the border, but I also wanna mention this problem doesn't start or end at the border. It starts with precursor shipments in China and ends up as overdose and fatal overdoses in our communities. We have to look how, at how many, Doctor, how many countries well, are we letting one. Gentlemen, your, the gentleman's time has expired. We could have a second round, but we have to keep moving. Congresswoman Norton, you are now recognized. 